For part D, it's asking you, okay, we want to keep that because the previous problem said um, the significance level here, like overall, the chances of at least one significant result are 0.142625. So happens quite often that we get at least one or relatively often. What the problem said is we want to keep it under 5%. So we want to keep that total under 5%. So basically it's, like, it's asking you, make this answer here 5%, work your way backwards to figure out what is the significance level we need to use for an individual test in order to end up compiling them all to making that our at least one is no greater than five. Um, the way that I set it up initially was one minus, I use this kind of same idea here, this formula, one minus the probability of not significant cubed. Um, not significant probability is the same as one minus the probability of it being significant. So this is just this, I just simplified in there. Um, and then I solved for uh, P sig. So what I ended up doing is I moved the one over, became negative 0.195 divided by negative one, um, cube root of both sides. So now one minus P sig equals 0 0.9830. What I'm gonna now do is I'm going to solve for P sig. When I solve for P sig, it's 0 0.017. And if you wanted to, you could run the test. You could go ahead and rerun this thing backwards, draw the tree diagram to confirm that 0.017 actually gives you a, um, a probability of at least one of about 5%. Now, I also know that this is given as an answer, 0.05 divided by three. I basically take that 5%. I equally split it up among all three tests. And 0.05 divided by 0.3 is a little bit more than 1.6. Um, not sure how much like supporting work you would need to give on this. I would suggest that if you did this, I rerun the tree diagram. What I basically do is I go ahead and say the probability of a significant result is 0.016, which means the probability of not a significant result would be what? 0.984. And what I would do in this case is I would go ahead and rerun like we did up here. I would do one minus 0.984 cubed, and I'd see what that comes out to be. So if we did that in the calculator, we do one minus 0.984 cubed, and that gives me a little bit like a little under 5%. So I think that would be what you'd want to go ahead and do on that one.